Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Northbound US-1 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Kevin Powell, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about the project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447092-1. That's cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447092-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. By phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This project is located on US-1, otherwise known as State Road 5. The project is on the northbound side only from Rocky Point Road to Malabar Road in Brevard County. This is mainly a milling and resurfacing project. Currently, there are two 12-foot wide travel lanes on the northbound side of US-1 with a four-foot wide paved shoulder on the outside. There are no bike lanes or sidewalks. In addition to resurfacing the northbound side of US-1 within the project limits, this project also proposes constructing a six-foot wide sidewalk on the southbound side of US-1. The project also plans to increase safety and help encourage safer driving speeds by adding raised medians intermittently along the project corridor. Two directional medians are planned. The project plans to convert the existing median opening at Township Road to a concrete directional median. The concrete directional median will restrict left turns onto US-1 from Township Road. 
Also, at Juniper Drive, the open median will be converted to a directional median to better define the allowed turning movements at Juniper. Although left turns onto US-1 are not currently allowed from Juniper Drive, the directional median will clearly restrict left turns. Those drivers will have to take a right and then make a U-turn at Rocky Point Road. While all the work is being done on the northbound side, the project is proposing a six foot wide sidewalk be constructed on the southbound side of US-1 from Orange Avenue to Malabar Road. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in fall 2023 at an estimated cost of $1 million. All work is being done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in late 2023 at an estimated cost of $3.1 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 3rd, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447092-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kevin.powell at dot.state.fl.us. That's K-E-V-I-N dot P-O-W E-L-L at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5425 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 447092-1 in the search box at the top right and click go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Have a good evening.